Yo, 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 what is up, YouTube? Elder Rizzy Gaming here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download the More Biomes mod. But before, please do not skip this part because this is important. This mod is not like most mods, it is like the More Swords mod that I did a video on the other day. So you need to go ahead and enable experimental gameplay on a world. And to do that, you go to a world where you want to equip this mod to. You go to the pencil setting, or if you're creating a new one, uh, over on the right side, just scroll down until you see enable experimental gameplay, just like this one right here at the bottom of the screen. Go ahead and press A to enable it. And if you're doing it to a world that already exists, once you click that, it will start generating a new world, a copy, if you would say uh, and it will say ex in brackets and then the name right afterwards so this world would not be able to use it and this world would and if you're creating a new one it will not put the ex in front of it so you need to keep in mind uh that so yeah make sure you do that and yeah okay so if any of you want to go ahead and skip to the beginning of the tutorial go ahead and go to the timestamp that i'm including on screen right here but for those of you that want to stay around and see the mod and the generation of this world that i created with the mod uh go ahead and stay i'm gonna do that right now so um yeah, as you can see, this naturally generated. There is a netherrack biome, and it looks pretty cool. <laughs> For some reason, the lava glitches out, and it does not turn into cobblestone, but I'm pretty sure if you were to update these blocks with another block like this, boom, there you go. See, I knew it. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, there's rivers <laughs> in this netherrack land, which is very strange to see, but you know, it's still pretty awesome. You could build a house right there, uh, and there's an ice biome right next to it. If you guys don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and turn it into daytime because I don't want it to turn nighttime just quite yet. Uh, but yeah, uh, there's a bi uh, a bice. <laughs> what is a bice? There is an ice biome that spawned directly next to this. So if this ice biome, custom ice biome, was made of normal ice or packed ice, uh, we would be in trouble. Uh, but it is made of blue ice, and as everybody else knows, blue ice does not melt no matter what. So we could go ahead and start placing this blue ice right here in the lava boom. That will not melt. It is pretty awesome. So it works out in the end. Uh, so yeah, there's this blue packed ice biome. And for those of you that love playing survival, uh, this is going to be awesome because now you can get blue ice fairly easy, as you could tell. Uh, this biome is enormous. Uh, you could also build here, obviously. And then right here, we have some type of sand podzo biome mix. Uh, I would live here. I mean, it looks, looks kind of like dry, but still, I mean, it's a desert mixed with podzo. You don't get that normally. It's pretty cool. And then um, over here we have some type of uh, bush, berry bush, uh, podzol biome. It's pretty cool looking. But so far my favorite one has been the nether rack biome. Uh, but yeah, it, I would live here only because there would be so much food nearby. Uh, as you can see, there's a bunch of bush berries right here that you could just pick up and start eating if you start getting hungry uh so yeah i mean that's a cool biome to live next to because you will have an infinite supply of food uh but yeah i would live in the netherrack biome if it were up to me but yeah uh right here we have some type of strange biome that generated that has a bunch of like uh lakes but these lakes aren't normal they're very weird um very interesting biome right here some type of flatlands mixed with a bunch of puddles slash lakes and streams. But yeah, um, if you guys uh, like this mod, go ahead and slap that like button. Subscribe if you're new. Turn on notifications to, notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a new video in the future. Check out the creator of the mod. He will also be linked in the description with any social media I can find on him. And... Yeah, ch shout out to my boy, obviously Ducks, aka Two Eyes Mike. He was the guy in my birthday live stream. If you guys know him already, subscribe to him. He is at 150 subscribers. Let's go ahead and try to get him to 200 subscribers. So, any of you that are looking to do a good deed, go ahead and subscribe to him. His channel will be linked in the description, and uh, join my Discord if you have any issues. But yeah, uh, let's get straight into the tutorial. Okay, so really quickly, I just want to give a quick shout out to my Discord. Link to the Discord will be in the description. So if you guys need any help in installing these mods, or if you run into any issues, or you just want to join a really chill Discord, link in the description for the Discord invites. Uh, so step one is to push the middle button, go all the way over to the right side, click on settings. And then once you click on settings and it's done loading, 
on the left side go to display and sound and click on video output once you are in here you go ahead and go to the center where it says advanced and then click on video fidelity and overscan once you are in here go over to the right where it says overscan border make sure that there is no check mark inside of this box because if there is a check mark inside of this box you will not be able to download any of these mods so go ahead and make sure there's no check mark boom that's what it looks like with it boom that's what it looks like without it last time i'm gonna say it uh, make sure there's no check mark or you will not be able to download any of these mods next thing you want to do is go to your games and apps and make sure you have file downloader file explorer microsoft edge and last but not least ufo.transfer if you do not have all four of these apps it will not work you can find ufo.transfer and file downloader in the microsoft store and for file explorer uh, a lot of people have been saying they don't have it but then I've been seeing a lot of recent comments saying that if you hard reset your Xbox, but make sure to keep all games installed, it will appear afterwards. But I am not sure about that because I have not tested it because for me, it was just on here by default. So once you make sure you have all four of those apps on your Xbox, go ahead and open up Microsoft Edge and navigate yourself onto this website right here, mcpedl.com. Once you are on this website, go ahead and click the magnifying glass at the top right and then start typing m o r e space b i o m e once you type that go ahead and press the pause button aka the button with the three lines and it will start searching and this is the one that you want right here uh go ahead and press a on the more vanilla more biomes vanilla plus and once this page is done loading uh here is the creator uh, right here it is made by Gabriel Castro uh, so his Twitter is right here that is his Twitter handle his YouTube channel is Y Brothers so go ahead and check him out so scroll down past all of these amazing pictures these are all the biomes the custom biomes that you can run into on this mod uh, but yeah once you are done looking through all of those pictures and you are near this section of the website hover over uh, download mc add-on and press a on it and it should take you to a media fire link so right here hover over the download rectangle that is all green press the pause button and then copy link after you do that we are going to open up the other app that i told you to download called uh where is it at it's right here uh file downloader once file downloader is downloading you're going to go over to the top left and click on the three lines and then from url make sure to click on local storage right after that and then hover over enter or paste it here and press the pause button aka the button with the three lines and if it does not come up go ahead and push b and then move down and boom there you go paste what you want to appear is this button right here and once it appears go ahead and press a to paste and then go over to the right side where you will see an arrow inside of a circle press a on the arrow inside of the circle and then hover over this at the bottom of the screen and press a on the start that has a huge rectangle around it boom once you press a on that it will start the download once the download is done downloading uh, click on the three lines at the top left again and then click on storage and right here you want to click on local storage and right here more biomes vanilla plus add-on go ahead and press uh, a on the square to the left of it and that should add a check mark and then at the bottom right click on the three dots and then click on rename right here you want to push right bumper and erase mc add-on but leave the dot if you get accidentally erase the dot no problem go ahead and add it back by clicking here and then put z i p boom and after you do that push b to get rid of the keyboard and then press ok and that should turn it from a mc add-on file to a dot zip file that you can now open up by hovering over it and pressing a and right here go to the bottom right and click on the three lines with the two check marks in the square uh, icon and then to the left of it you will see a paper pointing to a paper go ahead and press on that next uh, and then push B to go back once you are here again go ahead and press the clipboard at the bottom right to paste everything into here so what we did is we copied and now we're pasting boom now you can get rid of this more biome vanilla plus dot zip file so go ahead and press the check mark 
to the left of it to put it, the square to the left of it to put a check mark and then press the trash can at the bottom right to delete it and press OK. The reason we're deleting it is because we don't need it anymore. So now that we have both of these in here, you're going to open up the next app that I told you to download called UFO.transfer. After you open up UFO.transfer, if you do not have this gear icon at the top right, go ahead and rewind the tutorial uh, to find out how to add this. Uh, you accidentally skipped step one. So find out what step one is. And once you figure it out or you already had it at the top right, go ahead and click on the gear. And then right here on the left side, you will see a huge rectangle that says open in file explorer. Boom, click on that. And what this does is it, is it gives you a path, aka access to a folder that you normally cannot access. So once it's done loading, click on packages over at the top, and then you're going to locate megascopes.universal file. It has a bunch of numbers in the beginning of it. Uh, mine's is on the right, yours might be on the left, yours might be lower, yours might be higher. So once you find it, go ahead and press A on that folder. And then right here, go into local state. And right here, boom, you have the more B and the more R. So we're going to move the more B first. So go ahead and hit pause on it and then go ahead and click, uh, hover. first of all, you know, hover over it and then press pause on it and then cut. After you cut, you go up to the packages and then you go down until you find the Microsoft.Minecraft UWP console folder. Mine's is on the right, yours might be on the left, yours might be lower, yours might be higher, but mine's is right here. So once you find it, go ahead and press A to open it up and then go into local states, games, Mojang and right here you will see behavior score behavior underscore packs and resource underscore packs if you do not have either of these folders go ahead and create them by clicking the paper with the plus sign at the bottom right of your screen and then right here just name them behavior underscore packs with the s at the end of it and then same with the skin packs boom create a new one and then name it uh, skin underscore packs with the S at the end of it. If you misspell it, it will not work. So once you have both of these folders, or if you already had them created, go ahead and click A on behavior packs. And then right here at the bottom right, click the paste button, AKA the clipboard looking button to paste it into here. And boom, there you go. We have the more B in the correct location. Once you paste it, go ahead and push B once push B again and then over at the top click on packages and then we are going to go back into the megascopes folder we were inside of earlier boom open it up and then a local state and right here you will see the more R so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing with this one go ahead and hover over it press the pause button aka the button with the three lines and then cut uh, where's cut right there boom uh, so after you cut it you go back up to packages so once again same steps as we did with the behavior uh, go down into after you click on packages at the top you go down to Microsoft Minecraft UWP console go ahead and open that up and then go into local state games Mojang and once you're in here, like I said before, if you don't have these two folders, behavior underscore packs and resource underscore packs, you can create them by clicking this right here. Uh, but make sure they're spelled correctly or else it won't work. So you go ahead and open up resource packs and then go to the bottom right and uh, paste it in by clicking the clipboard. And boom, there you go. More are. Now that we have them there, I will show you how to equip them in Minecraft. Okay, so once your Minecraft is done loading, go ahead and press the play button and then right here, go to the world where you want to equip the More Biomes mod on. And just letting you guys know, if you have a world that has pre-generated uh, like biomes, it will only do it to the newly generated sections. So go ahead and try to find some new land uh, and you might have it working. Uh, but yeah, it, 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 this mod is best suited for worlds that are brand new. So once you go ahead and go in here, you go to resource packs and then go right here to available packs, more biomes, vanilla plus, press A and then plus and boom, there you go. And then go down to behavior packs and make sure you equipped it on here as well. Boom, click on A, click A on more vanilla B plus, geez, my English is bad. Go ahead and press plus, continue. It does disable achievements uh, and boom. There you go, just like that, go ahead and if you want your friends to be able to join your world with the mods, go ahead and go into resource packs and then at the top you will see require players to accept resource packs to join, boom, and then they will be able to join your world as long as they, uh, you know, 
go ahead and click download uh, but yeah go ahead and press play once minecraft loads up for you you should have the mod working and if you do not like i said make sure that it is a new world or if you, it is a pre-existing world that you were previously playing minecraft on you need to find new chunks in order to find these awesome biomes and if you if it's just not working for you in general go ahead and join my discord linked in the description shout out to the creator you will find all of his social media in the description and uh shout out to my boy obviously ducks in the description let's get him to 200 subscribers he's at 150 as you know during me making this video he's at 150 subscribers so show my friend obviously ducks a uh you know some love um and yeah, I mean, if it worked for you guys, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you're new. I'm trying to grow on YouTube, and it's been working awesomely. So I, you know, if you guys want to go ahead and subscribe for more mods and my future survival let's play that I'm going to do, go ahead and subscribe, turn on notifications to be notified whenever I go live or upload a video in the future. Uh, it's been Elder Wizard Gaming, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!